Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lark Jr. here, and today I have some fantastic news about the situation I had with Walmart in the 501st Battle Pack. So if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll give you a little bit of a recap. My sister wanted to buy me this Lego set for my birthday, and when I opened it, I realized that there was some like tape that shouldn't have been there. You know, it's, it's not like, you know, the little plastic tape that Lego puts on. It, it was like like scotch tape or something. I see that inside there is two number two bags with both walkers from the 501st set. The other number one bag was missing as well. I'm sure they got the other one because that has the most figures and both number two bags had missing figures. So someone stole basically like one and a half, like one and uh, one and three quarters of a lego 501st battle set they have all the minifigures they have two speeders and i guess i guess they didn't want the walkers but yeah they also stole one of the stickers so i couldn't even build one of the walkers i mean i could but i, I just don't want to build it without the stickers but yeah anyways i posted that video about a month ago i believe and since then i had someone comment on my video and they're saying like hey you can actually contact lego about this and so I'm like, well, I don't have a receipt or anything, so I don't know if it'll work. Because I, I wasn't going to try to go to Walmart and complain about it. Because, again, I don't have a receipt. So they, they would have just, you know, probably just, like, shooed me away. This guy here told me that you can go and email the Lego company. They might accept your problem. They might try to help fix it. So on that same day that he commented, I decided, like, you know what why not give it a shot it's it's a free lego set you know if i kind of not it's a it's a refund it's a refund for getting screwed over so might as well try it so i'm gonna go onto my computer and show you guys the situation and how they helped me get a brand new 501st lego set uh this is is brand new lego sent me it I also i mean like it came in the mail and it had this thing in it as well. I have folded because on the other side it has my address and the shipping information and all that stuff. So I'm not going to show you. But it is from the Lego store. It's, it's real. I was able to fix the problem and get a brand new set back with all the figures and both of the builds. Okay guys, so here I am on the Lego website. And what you want to do is you want to go to help and go to contact us. Then you want to press email us or chat with us if you want to. Mail, phone. I chose email. That's what I did. Choose a topic, whatever, whatever happened. I chose anything else. I, I cause I didn't, I thought about doing that one, but I just chose this, anything else. And this is the message I wrote. Hello, a little less than a month ago. Oh, I purchased a 501st Le Legion Clone Troopers Lego set number 75280. I bought it at the Walmart that I live by. When I arrived home after making the purchase, I opened the box and realized there was a bit of tape outside the box as well in the bags. Both bags that were labeled 2 were missing and the figures and weapons from bag 1 gone as well. Now I, I think I made a mistake. I meant to say both bags that were labeled 1 were missing and 2 were there and I changed that later. I made a YouTube video about this, and I left a link in case they wanted more details. I'm hoping there might be some sort of fix to this situation, however, it is understandable if we cannot fix it without the receipt. Thank you for reading. My best wishes, Carlos Guzman. Uh, there, there were some spelling errors and grammar errors, but they got back to me nonetheless. Okay, so now I'm in my Gmail, and this is, this is them, uh, you know, talking back to me. This is what I sent them, and here's a link I sent as well. Dear Carlos, thanks for getting in touch with us. I'm sorry that you've had to take a break from building because something was missing from your Lego set, and then they were specific about it. Of course, we want to fix the problem as soon as possible. I just need a little bit more information from you. It would be very helpful for us. And so what they needed me to send is a photo of the set and set box. Please write the case number on a piece of paper to include when taking the photo. So this is like the case, not not like the case of the box, like the case like we're solving this case. So I had to put the number there. Batch code, it's a four to five, I, I don't even know, alphanumeric code printed on every Lego box, which gives us information about when and where a set was produced which can help our quality department to identify quality control issues and trends this code is almost always printed in one of two places printed on the clear plastic tape seal of the original packaging 
uh, that's usually for larger boxes, or embossed or printed on the box near the logo or the barcode, which is where it was for me, because it, it's, it's not a huge set. I look forward to hearing from you. Please let us know if you need anything else. We're glad to help. I wish you a lovely day. We want to make sure we're doing a good job to you, so I always find the link to a four-question survey in our emails. Please let us know how we did today. I did the link and all that, so that's great. So I added to my store, I, I corrected myself. So I got the bags mixed up. Both bags labeled one were missing. I had two clones and two droids, and both bags labeled two are there with the walker. I built one walker, however, did not build the second one since one sticker set was stolen. The figs out of both bag two were also missing. Kissing, oh my gosh, dude. Oh man, I, I okay, along with weapons. <laughs> they must have laughed at that. I meant to say missing, but I just felt it kissing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, anyways. In the first picture, you can see the box on the back. On the left is second bag two. The middle is the instruction book and on the walker from another bag two. The batch code is 10R17. As you can see, the second bag two has been tampered with tape. The other one as well. But since a month has passed, man, misspelling. I typed this on my phone, so I, I really should have typed it on my computer. Since a month has passed, and I thought there was no solution, I built the other rocker and threw away the bag. Box also had a bigger strip of tape on the opening, and I didn't notice until I arrived home to open it. Figured Walmart workers put it there to prevent stealing, but it was just to cover up a. It was just a cover up to hide a thievery. I'm hoping this is enough information to find a solution to the problem. I'm sure some people have tried to scam me before to get sets for free. Thank you for looking into my situation. If there's any more information I can give, please let me know. So these are the pictures I sent. So that's the case number, you know, like, so that way they know it's it's me. And it's legit. And there's the extra bag too with the extra walker pieces. And then that's the walker that came in the box and the booklet that came with it, and the box, of course. That is the number, so it's always on the piece of tape. That's, I think, the factory number. And that kind of shows where the tape was. It was just like clear tape, and so it kind of matched with the, the bag. And over here, as you can see, there's like, it's, it's kind of hard to see, because it's, it's clear, but like there's a whole big strip of tape here, like a heavy tape, and they had it over the box, and I thought it was, like, to prevent stealing, I'm like, oh, that's good, they're watching out for people, but nope, it was just to cover up someone that already broke this tape. About three days later, I was getting no response, I said, hello, it has been a few days, is what I sent enough information, I was just making sure, like, oh, maybe, maybe they just rejected it or something. Lego responded not to much later they sent it the next day like 12 hours later which was fine to me dear carlos thanks for getting in touch with us oh no i'm sorry for the delay of our response i'm happy to confirm that we have made the order for the parts you need your order number is and then I, i'm gonna clear it because i i think i should your order is currently in the warehouse once shipped you will receive an email to confirm that is on the way to you from there the delivery will take up to two weeks uh, it actually only took one, which, uh, I think less than one, which was great. My sincere apologies for this little issue. I hope that you will receive the order very soon so you can pursue your building. Thank you for letting us know about this issue and for sending us the information about your set. This will help us a lot. Have a great week. So yeah, about 10 days later, the set came and, uh, I said, the set just came in once again. Thank you so much for your help. Then they actually replied to me and they said, Dear Carlos, thanks for getting in touch of, uh, with us. Uh, that, that's just something that always sends. You're welcome. Happy Lego fans make us happy. We're thrilled to hear that we've been able to help. Have a brilliant day. So yeah, that's really great. They were able to help me out with my situation and I'm really thankful for it. So guys, make sure not to abuse this. Don't try to steal from Lego. They're actually a really great company. You know, they might do some stuff that... I don't agree with and other LEGO fans don't agree with, but they definitely helped me out with a crappy situation and I'm very happy to have the set. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying it so that way you guys don't try to take advantage of a company. Please don't do this to steal LEGOs, alright? I'm just trying to tell you guys how I was able to get this situation fixed, kind of doing a, a call to action here, saying, you know, LEGO was able to help me out and it worked out.
Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if it helped you in any way or encouraged you, go ahead and try it out. It might work, it might not. If you give the right information, they might be able to help you out. Thank you so much to my channel members and to my Patreon members. You guys are insane. You guys help me a lot. And if you ever want to become one, description or <laughs> the links are in the description and also in the card here. You guys have a great, wonderful week and I will see you next time.